Welcome, welcome everybody back to the I'm a Guy YouTube channel. And unsurprisingly, we're back on the Let's Play world. Isn't that just crazy? So before we get spooky, there's a guy over there. So before we get started with today's episode, we're going to hit you guys with a what have we done in between episodes segment. And today it's going to be really short. It's just this. This is all we've done. Uh, this. And I'm pretty sure you guys can read signs. That's what we did. And then this is the bow that we used in the fight. So that's all we got planned, or all we got planned. That's all we did in between episodes. Uh, besides this pickaxe, we combined some pickaxes that we found in the in cities. Um, but yeah, for what we have planned for today's episode, I'm pretty sure that's where I was trying to go a couple seconds ago. But we're going to go and snag some villagers from the village that we found in the last episode. Okay, so we're on our, on our way, and I just threw on some armor just to have it. Um, we're probably going to end up working on a, uh, a new set of armor this episode as well. So just to put that out there, that's stuff we're going to be doing this episode as well. Alrighty, we have arrived in the village. And I actually, whenever I ran past this, I never did loot the village either. So we get some looting we get to do now. Like, look at this smoke. I don't even have one of those yet. Sheesh. You know... This guy's taking a nice little nap, and I think uh, I think he's gonna be the guy that we go go for first. So let's just block him out. Um, sorry, dude. Can you wake up for me? Thank you, thank you. Um, just go ahead and no, no, no. Like inside the boat. Yeah. Like it'd be really cool if you could get inside the boat for me. Uh, come on, man. Don't make this difficult. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to leave this guy here for now. Uh, we'll, we'll be back for him, but I'm going to do some looting, and then I'll take him back home. Cat. Uh, but yeah, and then we'll go come back again and get our other guy, Brewing Stand, nice. Add it to the collection. So, to make a long story short, th there was nothing in this village. So, I'm going to take what I can, and then I'm bouncing out of here right now, actually. Um, yeah, this village was trash, so... You know how it is. I'm just gonna just come with me. Um, you know. Okay, we're back. I've been doing this for an unreasonable, unreasonable amount of time, and this is the last guy. Uh, we got the other one already up here. The other one is uh, up here already, as you can see. Uh, but what I've been having to do to get these guys out is pretty clever, actually. I place this down, and they run to it. And then I break it, and then I place it, and they run to it. I'm a genius for this. They change their profession. I just keep moving it up. Hopefully, this guy doesn't link. I didn't think about that. Come on, man. I'm doing so good. Hopefully, this guy doesn't go through the nether now. Good stuff. And then place it here. Hopefully, the other guy doesn't link. And then boat. Oh, he got right in there. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, um, if we go through our mobs killed, and we go down to the villager section, <laughs> uh, s some guy did die in the process of moving because I swung at a boat and they got hit and killed because they were already low from zombies. So, long story short, this has been an incredible grind. On with the next thing, we're going to get this villager breeder up and running. Uh, it's going to be our own design. I I know, like, each episode I keep adding on to, like, the rules and stuff of the, uh, the, 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 the what? Okay, so I know each episode I keep adding on to the rules or, like, regulations of how I'm gonna play the, the game, but, you know, we're gonna add some leeway. Remember, we said we're, we're doing villagers, we're doing farms, but another thing I'm adding now is they have to be our design, so we can't just look up on YouTube, like, some zombie farm, um... That's crazy, because that's exactly what I did for that one over there. But that one doesn't count. That was before this rule came out. So, before the <laughs> before the update dropped. But yeah, so, in here, we're going to make our own little design of a villager breeder. And then, we're going to be on with our day. You guys can kind of get a loose idea of how this is going to work. You know, beds are going to be lined up on the outside. Villagers are going to be standing here. Um, and when they breed, obviously, the babies are going to be just small enough to squeeze down here. Um, they're going to drop down to a little funnel where we can collect and redistribute them. So there you go. Um, I don't actually have a wool farm, so we're probably going to go back to the village and rob some people of their beds. Um, 
as well as their citizens because we took two of them. <laughs> Poor guys. Uh, but yeah, for for feeding them, I just almost stuttered and died there. For feeding, I'm going to probably have like a tube or something. Something that's going to look mechanical or like steampunk. Um, that's actually a nice little... Yeah, I might make this castle look a little steampunk too. But yeah, we're going to have like a little tube that's going to spit uh, like bread or wheat out of like a little hole in the wall. It's going to land just perfectly for them to pick it up and toss it around to each other and breed. So that's the basic idea of how that's going to work. Uh, but yeah, so now we need to get a couple things done from here. A little collection system and actually get the villagers up there. As well as farming this because we need a lot of bread. Villagers are now in place, so we can test this out in a little bit. We just have to get a couple more beds because that's my bed and then that's the bed that we stole from the village. We didn't steal a lot and tried to find some, um, uh, you know, sheep and I can literally only find one. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to probably have to go out and find another one just to bring back so we can get another farm going similar to the cow thing that we got going here uh nothing wrong with this this is humane and and whatnot uh another thing is our storage system at, it's fine for right now but i want to start getting a main room because like you know this isn't going to last forever um and i don't want to break this or destroy this i want to leave it as like a piece of history so i want to get another storage room going um obviously though i mean we can't build it in one of these because these rooms aren't big enough uh, but if we take a look at the bigger castle around back here, there's probably going to be some room for this. Uh, so, oh, creeper. Oh, man. Oh. All right. I, I'm not going to kill him. He lives a little life. So I'm probably going to end up putting it here in like a sewer system. So that's the idea that I've come up with for now because I kind of want to make it uh, symmetric. And this building is not symmetric at all, so we'll probably have to drop down into some type of sewer system, and then we'll go from there. So that's all I really have planned for the new storage system, because as we evolve and get further in the game, our storage system is going to have to do the same. So, um, we'll craft another bed, because we just got enough. He's just grown enough wool for us to do so, and then we'll see if this thing is working. Alrighty, so we got the bed in here. Now all that's left is for us to go get some food. As you can see, we just recently farmed this. Uh, so go grab some bread. I'll yeah, I'll probably use some bread for this because uh, wheat makes sense. Oh, we have bread pre-made. That's great. So we can just throw it in here, see if they start breeding. And if they do, that means our little thing works. Then we just have to somehow coax the baby villager down. Eat, my children. Oh! It worked, it worked, it worked. Okay, now, now, since he's small enough, he can fit down in the, in the thing. Now, will he go down there? I don't know. I don't know yet. But the goal is to now get him to drop down. So, I, I, this is like the worst, but... If he drops down and he goes into here, he'll be he'll be stuck there, and then we can grab him in a boat or like a minecart or something. Why are they throwing food at the baby? Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm over here thinking of the logistics of this castle. And I think an entrance right here would be pretty cool. We could have like a staircase, maybe some other garden thing. You know how we have like this garden over here. Kind of similar to what we did here where it's kind of like a, uh, almost like a barrel that's like kind of in the side of the wall, kind of holding something. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be like a wall that's going to be on the side of the staircase. I don't know if you guys can imagine that, but it's going to be a staircase that goes down, and then maybe like right here, there's going to be a wall holding some soil and some plants in it on either side, and it's going to look pretty nice. Let's get that done. Oh, we still have the materials in here. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe I won't have to go mining this episode. Maybe I'll just piggyback off the stuff we've already gotten. Before we get back to building, let's see. Did it, oh, it actually worked! 
It actually freaking worked. That's nut. Okay, anyways, uh, tutorial coming soon, guys. That's crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I probably could have seen that coming. Uh, it's just a little small drop there, but that means it's working. So that means we can collect him and put him in a little dungeon and trade uh, with him. Uh, actually, no, nah, I'll probably do like some villager. I'm too ambitious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too ambitious. That's coming down the line. Okay, I'll mess with the villagers next ep episode or something. But I, I am going to get that mining trade today. Just because feeling ambitious, like I said. But, uh, oh, yeah. By the way, this is what it's kind of looking like. I don't know how this side is going to look. that Because this obviously doesn't look the best. But you can kind of see what I'm going for here. It's very similar to that. But it's oak. Uh, little area here for plants. Obviously, I don't have any plants on me. But, you know, plants... <laughs> would go here and then maybe a tree growing right there just to show you know kind of to keep the eye from going back there you know kind of focus your eyes on the garden area right and then obviously the staircase this would lead you straight up to the actual castle which would have our storage system down in the sewer that we were just talking about uh and then i you know i'm being really ambitious i might even connect this up to this uh bridge and then that way it ties back in with the rest of the, you know, base. And then we'll start working on something else uh, whenever this gets done. Uh, I mean, obviously, I said well, we have a plan down there. And that's coming soon. I promise. I promise it's coming soon. So our first guy that we uh, transform is going to obviously be, or employ, not transform, because we're not zombifying this guy, at least not yet. Uh, we're going to give him the job of the uh, farmer, I think. Uh, and then that way we can actually attain emeralds because obviously this is the only thing we could trade um we don't have any other farm set up so we're gonna have to get this guy working guys over there big chilling um but i still don't know where i'm gonna put these i thought about putting him in the parlor over here but as you can see this is a lot of movement just to get him all the way to this area here the issue with that also is like why would he be in the parlor he's a farmer so i kind of want to stick to the vibe of the base i guess i don't know what to tell you Ooh, i can put him down with the dog the doggo put him in here and he can actually farm so yeah that's actually that's fine oh yeah i'll just put him in here let's go get this guy so we've got this area nice and secured. You see we got a little fence gate, fancy. And then we got some fences around the back so we can't get out. This is just for now, because obviously we're going to need to farm this. And if there's a farmer in here, um, he's going to be farming it. So we gotta, probably are going to recess him into the wall. So he can't move. Um, Bucky here will be coming with us probably up into a higher area, maybe in the main castle, uh, just for now. Um, but yeah, this guy has got to be... We got to get him all grown up so we can start trading, accumulating our wealth, so we can start getting some actual stuff done. Alrighty, villagers are kind of getting on my nerves. I'm done working with them. So, we're going to go ahead and craft that new armor set that we were talking about. So, bada boom. That's not anything to do with armor. <laughs> and then, boom, almost forgot how to craft it. Okay, so now we're left with 32 diamonds. That should leave us three blocks. Uh probably sitting around the exact same area before we went to that in raid mission uh guy is over there so we're gonna have to s finesse and f swizzle our way around him i'm trademarking that word by the way uh so you know get a life uh but let's get it okay let's see what we can get on this unbreaking three that was okay not the best i literally have that exact chest plate uh will not be using that unbreaking th <laughs> Okay, finally, some actual, uh, I'm breaking. Th nice, nice. We can actually combine these boots with that. Nice. Uh, let's just, those are some good boots, actually. And we actually need a grindstone so we can get these dookie en enchantments off of our gear. Because that was trash. Who, who, who's running this show here? My boy Notch needs to help me out. He needs to get me some better enchantments because this is actually sad. I don't even remember how to craft a grindstone, dude. There we go. That's how you make it. And without a recipe book, that's how you know I'm an OG who doesn't remember how to do stuff. Haha. <laughs> New addition to our little enchantment spot. Uh, let's try this again. Notch, be on our... What is this? 
Who was using fire protection for? Thorns 2. Okay. We're going to have to bite the bullet with this one. Uh, choose the thorns 2. Give it the... Yeah, give us back those levels. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, that's right. Breaking 3. I was going to say, no way they do the same thing again. They just gave us aqua affinity this time. That's so much better. You can't make this up! I already have this! In fact, I just got this. Okay, that's a scam. This game is a scam. In fact, that's literally what this is, just with them breaking. They, they massacred my boy! You're coming with me for that. Nah. Don't think... Yeah, nah. You're gonna get... Don't even get me started on what I'm gonna do to you. Pause. Before we enchant this last piece of armor, let us hold a... Service for the loss of our buddy who we wanted to pacify. Never again will we pacify... That's a lie. I probably will get a guy to chill with us. But this guy is gonna... Ooh... That actually hurt my feelings. I really wanted this guy to be cool with us. And he just got massacred by a puffer fish. What, a, what an L. I swear. I. If I get blast protection for. That's what you like to see. And with that being said, we're going to disenchant this. Uh, try to reclaim some levels from that. All we have now is a trash helmet that's not even enchanted. Uh, but before we get back into villagers, we're going to give this guy a little little taste of his own medicine since he wants, likes to kill folk. Uh, so we're going to put him in a little bucket uh, with of glass. And for his crimes, he will be doomed to eternal... Okay, well, I don't want him to die, so we're going to go get some more water in here. But for his crimes, he will be doomed for... E Whoa! That boy hits! I can see how he killed him. Anyways, he will be doomed to be forever in this bottle. So, um, I will call him Pacifist. Look at him. Look at that stupid face. Oh, I hate this guy already. You know, now that I think about it, wasn't there a puffer fish that we found really early on? I don't even. Do we still have that? We do. We do. I'm not going to doom him to the same thing, but I'm... Oh, I got a theory. I got a theory. What if this guy killed... What? If... Listen, okay. This is a little deep, all right? I, I'm not... I'm going Alex Jones here, but... What if he killed the, the guy... I don't even think I gave him a name. But what if he killed him trying to get his brother back, which I bought from a wandering trader, I'm pretty sure. Or I might have called this guy. I don't actually remember, but... With that being said, his brother will receive an even worse punishment because I've come to the conclusion that they are related. So I'm going to put him in an even smaller bucket, buddy, right next to you so you can see what you did to him. Ow! Oh, shoot. Okay, we're back to the villagers Um, after dealing with the puffer fish. Look, this guy is actually, he's actually a villager. And he trades something we don't farm okay buddy all right pal and he took the carrots okay now we got the carrots okay don't like this guy we gotta set up a farm somewhere else because this guy will start stealing our carrots and we gotta trade these with him because he doesn't trade the other thing and i'm not gonna do that thing where you reset the trade i'm not gonna because it's just not something i want to do especially with a villager that's not that important i just set up a new farm you know trying to do it differently because i'm a maverick where my logan Pauler's at <laughs> all right anyways let's get this farm going and then uh well at the moment it's not going to be that big uh judging by the amount of carrots that we have all right so let's get this farm going uh just scoop some water because you cannot skip on the water skip on the water i mean uh but yeah we're, we don't have that many carrots so the farm isn't going to be uh super expansive at least not yet i did grab some bone mill just so that we can make it a little bit bigger than just three and i'm thinking it's going to go just right here like just follow this path down uh and then by the time that we actually start building in this path to go down and along into what we're going to be eventually doing in this valley uh it'll just follow along the side of this i'm doing a lot of explaining uh i might as well just get it done so you guys can kind of see get a loose concept of what i'm trying to do here so nice and let's get it going 
Okay, so we ended up with 36 after that. That's actually not that bad. Uh, we can actually use that to make a decent sized little farm here. That can farm a decent amount of carrots. I don't know. And then we can trade them. Uh, for books, so we can actually have an elytra that won't break. I mean, this is literally the day after fighting them, and this thing is going to break soon. Well, I mean, it's not that detrimental, but, you know, you can you can definitely tell it's slowly approaching that point where it's going to get bad, and we will not have an elytra. I mean, there's phantom membrane. That's always an option, but, like, that's lame. That's just, it's just not something I want to have to deal with. Um, you know, the... We were talking about how the game is not as hard, but then there's just some aspects of the game that are grindy, and for no reason, right? There's there's no reason to have to deal with this, especially when you're just trying to get a mobility, um, which, you know, there's not many options otherwise in the game, so, uh, yeah. Target acquired. Let's get them, boys. So our base, it, where'd you go? Okay, yeah. Base is this way. Also, this is new terrain. Might be a little laggy. Um, yes, it is confirmed. Whenever I'm in new terrain, uh, until it stabilizes, um, yeah, we don't have any. Ooh, what is go? Don't you kill it. I swear to God. You. N this is why I don't like dogs. This is why I don't like dogs. Luckily, my dog isn't here to see it, so. I'm going to kill everyone in sight now. You guys aren't safe either. I might actually die. Ah! Alright, alright, alright. I forgot. I don't have armor. And these guys aren't no plaything. Why are there so many freaking dogs? I'm getting no sheep. Oh, hello. Speak of the devil. Welcome, welcome. Come with me, come with me. Or do I? You know, uh, you had a good run. You, you had a really good run. But there's two on the other side of this. And it's not worth it to, to walk you around. So, I really hate to do this. Um, you know, it, it really does suck. Uh, but I got a gray guy and another white guy. So, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Wow. This is old terrain. This isn't even the new terrain. This is right behind our base. How did I not know about this? This looks freaking sick. Okay, yeah, scratch the mountain from earlier. Uh, we're, we're gonna do something here. This is behind the, the little valley, too. I think this is actually a part of the valley. I'll be right back. As you can see, um, wildly close to the base here, that's the back of the castle, and that little, like, area I just showed you is right there, um, so definitely gonna be doing something with that in the future, um, for sure, uh, but uh, the main challenge now is getting back to the base with these, uh, sheep. Multiple wolves have tried attacking these guys, um, and I, like, look! I'm done with this game! I'm so done with the game, dude. These dogs are actually a nuisance. Why are there so... There's, they're, they're literally everywhere. Like, they're not just spawning every once in a while. I can fly over here and find... what. Like, why are you there? Why are you there? I just brought my animals through here. There's no... You're taking up the mob cap. These guys are actually making me mad. I, you, I did the dog thing as a bit, but now they're being actually annoying. They're everywhere and for no reason at all. Now I gotta find another sheep because they just attack them for no reason. And this place is prone to dog, I guess. Do I regret killing the sheep earlier? Yes. I definitely do. I just need one more sheep. Just one more. And I had four in my grasp. And I let two of them go. Um, really sad. Um... I might have to end the episode without even getting another one because I want to do some other stuff. And this episode is already getting pretty long. We've done a lot um, in terms of getting villagers, um, imprisoning pufferfish. Uh, speaking of which, how are you guys doing? Still breathing? Okay, nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, we imprisoned, got villagers, got this thing working. Well, I guess if that's what that means. We got the outline of this. 
going and we killed a lot of dogs. Also, aerial view of the base, finally. I didn't even think about this. Get a little... That looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah. Killing dogs. Probably the main... Yeah, that's probably the title of the video. <laughs> Killing dogs. <laughs> Yikes, that might get a little... <laughs> that's a little dark. Um, no sheep are around here. So, yep. We're going to in the video without getting sheep that's sad but I will be killing all the dogs that I see from now on all right there's one here there's one here literally one and this is over by the jungle actually the jungle is out that way lower render distance because I'm trying to stop that lag in the recording uh, and the base is just over this uh, like mountain area um, so yeah, we're gonna hope that this guy doesn't die. There's, you know, there's no, um, how do I say this? Dog infested area. Like, this area is pretty clean in terms of dogs. There's no dogs over this way. Uh, it should be a straight shot to the side of that valley that we were talking about building in. And then after that, it's the bait. There's two, actually. Let's grab that guy, too. I didn't, I didn't see this guy. So close, so close. That's what you like to see. That's 11, bruh. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I, we did a lot of random stuff, I know. We did we did villagers, uh, imprisoned pufferfish, killed some dogs, and searched a very long time for um, sheep, and armor. Five things. Five whole things. And that's all I'm going to do for episode 9. Episode 10, double digits next episode. So get excited. It's going to be the exact same, <laughs> probably. Um, probably less talking next episode just because of these last couple episodes. I've been speaking a whole lot, and I kind of want to get some of that Minecraft music back into these edits because boyo boyo, I like them. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, peace out.